good morning guys i opened this window like i opened the blinds everything up because i want light okay we're about to do an unboxing that i'm very excited about so let me mount this okay the ac in this bedroom is particularly loud i want to do this unboxing before i eat i'm actually i ordered like tortilla wraps and i'm waiting for them to come so i was like i was supposed to eat before i did the unboxing but since i'm waiting for my wraps to come let me do the unboxing guys okay so two are just pr packages that okay so two were pr packages that were delivered yesterday but then the other four are items that i got like last month that i've been waiting for let me not say too much okay let's just start guys before i move on to this unboxing i want to say a very big thank you to better help for sponsoring today's video i've been working out guys like <laughs> I've been working out and I'm dealing with a lot of muscle soreness. I was having a conversation this morning just with someone about how I could possibly incorporate more protein into my diet in a gradual way that my body will get used to because I think that my soreness has been kind of lingering now. It is definitely because I'm doing more things like physically than I, I think I have ever done. Like back to back, I've been working out and I've been counting my steps and I've been closing my rings. The reason why I'm saying this is that I remember like the first time I started seeing my therapist in 2021 one of the first things she recommended like after the first day of seeing me was working out it was moving my body she was like how active are you and i remember just talking about it and even as i was answering it was just dawning on me how not active i was and she was like just move okay work out okay just start slow gradually build it up and every time now that i feel like i want to slack a little bit her voice is one of the voices i hear in my head just prompting me to do this one thing because she told me it was going to help and not just physically, it was going to help me mentally, you know. I'm doing so many things that I thought that I couldn't do. Like maybe that if I had to do this much physically, that I'd have to come back and lie down. But like nothing, like I'm actually, sh what do you call it, shouldering it well. And it's just helping me just overall, okay. If there is something that you feel like you need to talk to somebody about, if you're not in a good place mentally, if you're not in a good place physically, because not being in a good place physically also triggers like us not being in a good place mentally. If you feel like you need to talk to someone, I would highly, highly recommend that you consider better help. They were the first platform and the only platform that I have actually ever done therapy on. So regardless of what you're going through, like I just touched on physically, mentally or you're just trying to navigate life let's say you're not even really really going through anything very like heavy but you're trying to just like navigate life better you're trying to approach your relationships like better maybe even trying to find out if there's some trauma or just things that affect the way you process and handle things i would highly recommend therapy therapy will give you the tools to approach your life in a very different way i promise you so like if access or your environment kind of makes it a bit tricky to actually go and find someone to talk to it's just more accessible with better help okay you can use your mobile device and aside from talking or like do having a video call session there are so many other ways i've talked about this before i've shared this with you guys you can chat with your therapist if you do not want to talk you can do a voice call if you do not want to like kind of talk to them one-on-one -on -one with them seeing your face you can also do the video call option if you are just in a place where you don't mind that there are so many ways to actually engage with your therapist you can message them even outside of your sessions and you would get a reply better help just makes finding a therapist easier it's online it's remote to start all you have to do is go to their website which will be linked in the description box and which is also going to appear on the screen as i talk just go on there and answer a few questions and with your answers they are going to match you with a professional therapist in very few days like sometimes like in less than 24 hours okay but in a few days you will be matched with a therapist for you so clicking on the link in my description box just on the top it will take you straight to the better help website it also supports this channel but aside from supporting the channel you get 10 percent off your first month with better help and because finding a therapist is like dating okay you have to click you have to connect with your therapist if you are connected or matched with someone who you do not like if better help connects you or matches you with a therapist that for any reason whatsoever i've explained that when i first started using the platform i had to do this because i 
wanted a black woman i wanted an Igbo woman or a nigerian preferably so there were a couple of cultural differences that i didn't want to constantly explain or repeat to whoever i was matched with and at first i kind of had to do that with the first person because the person they matched me with was not african was not black and i had to explain a lot of things when it like just i had to give context to so many things it was very easy for me to change my therapy so it's very very easy for you to do this at no additional charge without worrying about things like insurance or a bunch of other things it's just very easy to change your therapist from your profile from your account on BetterHelp. so if you're struggling please 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 consider online therapy with better help the link is going to be in my description box right on the top you can also use the link as it appears on the screen which is www.betterhelp.com slash dimma okay Thank you so much again, BetterHelp, for sponsoring today's video. <sighs> Why am I breathing so heavy? I think this is a very good angle to unbox. What do I have in here? Guys, you remember like some vlogs ago, like my entire like glassware cabinet just crashed and fell and the landlord and they just had to come and fix that and they've mounted it properly now but then i lost a lot of things and every time i think about it i think i already even said this in the previous vlog did i already say it i don't think so but guys that thing made me so sad because some of the glassware that i lost in that particular incident i had been hoping that i'll have them if possible for the rest of my life like just for a very very long time just i was just attached to some of them in a, just a very sentimental way so what i did was i went on amazon and i ordered new glassware and i used bell top cargo i've talked to you guys about them before so basically if you order something from amazon us it's just that it takes about two weeks so 10 days to two weeks sometimes this one took about two weeks if not slightly more and the reason was because there were a couple of like bank holidays or public holidays at a point and that's kind of affected clearance with nigerian customs but oof, I'm excited. You guys can see that the boxes have like fragile, 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 fragile tapes everywhere. And I'm hoping that nothing broke, okay? I'm hoping that nothing broke. So, I'll just try to shake things first. I don't even know what this one is, but this is Susties, okay? I feel like I do an unboxing every vlog these days, but I know that a lot of you actually like it. Okay, so this is a jog. I'm just shaking it to make sure that nothing is broken. Okay. I also think that they took everything out of the package and kind of like wrapped it again for me to make sure that they all get to me in good condition. Okay, this is perfect actually. So this is a nice jog. Comes with a stainless lid. I got this for my Chapman's, my drinks, the stuff that I would make. It comes with a plastic thing inside and like a sponge thing that you can wash it with. That's what was making that sound. But this came in tactical, I'm so happy. So this is the first one. Okay. This is a cocktail shaker set. Okay, so I heard something recently, I said something recently that kind of made some people assume, oh, oh, why did I start with vodka? Guys, I actually do not just drink alcohol. Why did I taste vodka? Thank you for asking. I had a cut in my gum. Okay, I was using a floss, one year floss like that, and the thing really caught my gum. And the gum was bleeding. My boyfriend was like, You need to rinse your mouth with alcohol. I was like, Okay, bring. I don't know what I was expecting, but vodka tastes like fire. It tastes like something that human beings should not be swallowing. It tastes like a chemical substance that belongs in hospitals. I promise you, I use methylated spirits, or it's also called isopropyl. Yeah, isopropyl. Isopropyl. I don't know. Alcohol. Okay. I use that to disinfect things in my desk, my makeup desk. This just tasted how that smelled. That's how horrible it is, okay? I also love, ooh, this is nice. So they actually provide you with a nice like cocktail recipe book too. So this is an add-on to this thing I got. So basically, this is just a kit that comes with a shaker that you can use to mix drinks. Just the, the same type that they use in bars. There's an, there's an ice uh, thing here. There's something for frothing and it comes with like I think a bamboo stand as well. I think that this one is really good. So I don't want to scatter this one completely because it's one of those things that I am not using now. Like I do not intend to start using it right now. 
but I also want to just show you guys more in these videos how I make some of my favorite drinks, you know. I'm just hoping that the audio of this thing I'm doing is not so bad because of the AC. Okay, so this is the second one. I'm not taking this out of the box. Then there's the bigger box here. Here, I think she... So the first one, let's see what we have in here. Ooh, this one is so pretty. So I got this nice glass here. It comes with this lid. If you guys remember, I had these cups. I got them from Kiki's Favorite Things or so last year. I had about three, so I bought three. And when that cabinet crashed, two of them broke and one didn't, right? So basically, I was short of two. So I decided to buy two more of these, but then I went on Amazon and I saw that there's this kit that comes with these two glasses and this. Bro, I think that these are really cute. I can imagine just serving drinks with this. I think it's beautiful. Guys, I just love the fact that this whole thing is a set, okay? This is just FYI, so in case you bought the ones that I showed you guys from Kiki's last year, these ones are kind of heavier, okay? So, <laughs> I'm just, I just love the fact that I'm putting these aside. I can see my, my sets like growing as I set things aside. I have another one. I'm shaking everything because I just want to make sure that nothing is broken. Okay. But they were all packed well. I think they were packed to travel the distance. Okay, so these are the things that are making the noise, I think. So this particular set that I also got, this new set I got, comes with glass drawers, okay? I don't even know which one this is, but, okay. Ooh, did I get four of these? Wow. So, oh yeah, this one has a crack already. I don't even know how. This one has a chip on it. I got longer versions of the same type of cups that I showed you guys, but these ones have lid so that you can drink whatever you want. You can use your glass straw. I think that this is very, very cute, okay? They were not even from the same vendor, but I love the fact that I could just use them. So just to show you guys, this is a small one, this is the big one. The same style, just different sizes. So this particular one comes with four of these cups and four straws, okay? I got some beer can glasses. I used to also have these. I'll use them for my smoothies. I lost all of them when my cabinets fell. These are also heavier than the ones that I had, but I do not think that I'll be using these with the covers. But I think it's just so convenient that if I do decide to use them with the straw, then I can, okay? So this also came in a set of four. So this particular one also comes with straws, glass straws too. And I love, love, love the fact that they included this thing for washing inside the straws, okay? I'm going to have all of this linked in the description box in case you're interested in buying any of these from Amazon. I also have an Amazon storefront, by the way, so I think that it's also just going to be easier for me to link these in my Amazon storefront so that if you want to buy, all you need to do is to just go to that my Amazon link and everything that I have talked to you guys about or shown you guys from Amazon will just be there instead of kind of looking for the links individually, right? I have one more thing from here. I think that this is the last one. And this one is a mocktail. Oof, 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 oof. This one is a cocktail mocktail type of glass. I love it. I still need to get regular wine glasses, but oof. Ah, this one is beautiful. I'm just thinking about all the things that I'm going to do with this one already, okay? So let me put it back and just show you guys what it looks like some things kind of moved a bit when they were transporting or oh, something broke or something is anyway shall. this is what it looks like okay a set of four too so these are going to be very very good for like drinks that i mix and make and then regular wine glasses i think i'll just buy from shop right i might even buy it today self because i don't drink alcohol but every time my boyfriend comes around he's been drinking like his wine in plastic cups and that's not on brand I have the two pair of packages that I now got from here. So these are from Huda Beauty, both of them, okay? Can't believe I started this vlog off with an unboxing, but like I said, some of you love it. I'm just excited. Thankfully, yeah, guys, when my cabinet fell, my plates were not affected at all. So this is the new Huda Beauty 4 filter color correcting products. So I have seen these all over social media. 
They also sent some concealer shades for me. With Huda Beauty, I actually use Brittle and Praline or something like that. This is a contour shade. I'm just trying to open this. I also don't want to tear it, bro. I don't like tearing things. Ooh. Okay, do you know what? Let me just cut this open, okay? They sent me, I love these concealers. I have two shades of it from them. So this one is like my actual shade, peanut butter. And then they sent me a contour shade, which is butterscotch. Let me also open the flyer that this comes with so that you guys can see. Okay. I don't know the last time I actually used color correctors diligently. So I'm really excited about these products. I'm going to open two shades, papaya and blood orange for you guys to see. Very, very good. So color correcting, you basically use these to cover hyperpigmentation before going over it with concealer. Guys, I have so much planned for this vlog. I'm really excited. But let us just finish with this first, okay? So, I'm going to swatch at least two of them for you guys so that you will see. This is Blood Orange, okay? You can see, I think that this might work for very dark spots or for someone who's slightly darker than I am. Papaya, I think is going to be my tease, okay? Can you guys see what they look like? I think that my tortilla wraps are here. I also really love the packaging that this was delivered in because this will come in so handy for brushes or just long things that you typically would use for your makeup. Okay, so I'm going to wipe this off. And I'll be talking about these in an upcoming beauty video, hopefully. This was the package that they delivered yesterday. So we're going to open this. This is the new one coat mascara that Huda has also been talking about on Instagram. I love, love, love this purse. I love this shade of pink. So this is a one coat mascara. I'm going to be reviewing this too. They have new creamy coal eye pencils. I already love their life liner, so I'm excited to see how these will pair with that, okay? Guys, like, I have so many new products I feel like I need to share with you guys that I've been enjoying and even some things that I got when I traveled that I've started using now that I'm really loving. There's a cute mirror in here that comes in handy for makeup. That will be it, guys. Let me go and eat, okay? So let's go down. I just want to fry eggs and eat it with avocado and a wrap and possibly just drink something. Hello? Okay, so my wraps, or my wrap is here. By the way, I got this pesto from MNS when I traveled and I really, really like it. I've kind of used it a bit and I really want to finish using it ASAP, but it's just green pesto. I bought a few things from MNS actually, but this I really like. So I'm going to put a little bit of it in this egg because I saw someone doing this on YouTube, I think Alia's face, and I was like, hmm, I have this, but I'll normally just use it as a spread. I want to see what it tastes like in egg because I feel like it's going to bang, okay? So, avocado. Okay, so I'm just going to open this up. I'm just going to use half of this. I cannot finish using... Oof! This avocado looks so good. Oh my god. Sometimes, especially with local avocados, like, it's whatever you get, you take. But this, this looks good. I'm going to put a ring in. I'm going to put some black pepper in here as well. Guys, this avocado is perfection, to be honest. So, some black pepper. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit of this in here. These are better than those already ground ones. So, this is what the avocado looks like. This, very good. Okay, just letting you guys know. Okay, so this is what I got. Ugh. This is not what I thought I was getting. I don't even know, like... And I can't, I don't know what I'm going to do with this now because I can't finish it. There was whole wheat tortilla there. I should have got that, but then <sighs> I thought this was corn. I thought that was what I saw in the description. So I don't know what to do with this now, but I'm just going to maybe use half of this to just eat my food first, okay? Because I need to eat. Avocado oil.
this is about it and this is how I'm going to eat this. Okay? I'll just eat it and drink some water. Guys, um, my nails look crusty. I have videos to film tomorrow, so I really need to change this. Dio is fully booked, so she can come in. I had to book an appointment somewhere else. I'm going to Nail Boutique. I haven't been there in a very long time, so I'm actually excited to go because every time i remembered actually going there their service was really great so i want to actually try another type of service maybe get dipping powder or something instead of acrylic to kind of see how that goes uh yeah but my nails they don't look nice so yeah that's where i'm going to basically so we're soaking off okay it's gonna take time Abby. sorry too much time. guys i don't know how this is the first time i'm doing dip powder or dipping powder whatever it's called this feels so lightweight this color is also super gorgeous against my skin tone i just love it and the service here was actually quite affordable like bro like it doesn't feel and I'm, I'm really really looking forward to see how this wears because it just doesn't do the same thing that acrylic does to your nails like it's just easier on the nails you know i came here looking for it i got it so I'm just happy, uh, excited. So let's see how much I love this, okay? Okay. Good morning, guys. Uh, hold on one second. I am still, like, I'm trying to get my phone out of my pocket. I am still not over these nails. Just like, I'm still not over just how much I love them, how good they look. Oh my gosh. I am about to have breakfast, the same thing from yesterday, wrap, okay? When I went out after my nail appointment, I wanted to see if I could get corn tortillas. I couldn't find corn tortillas anywhere. I'm gonna keep looking, hopefully I just run into them. Um, my cup from yesterday and one of the glass drawers. Look, I have a drink here. Close up. Look at how gorgeous it looks like, guys. This is my rubbish I used to like. Okay, it just makes me so happy. Mm. My to do this for today is so long, it's making me laugh. One whole page of assignments, okay, that I have given myself. All of that I have to do. But let me start out with emails first well let me just finish eating and then let's do emails first and i want to get waxes i want to i haven't my last wax appointment was before i traveled so i have a wax appointment to be honest i don't have an appointment yet so i'm going to do a walk-in and i need to pick up my clothes from the place where i took the jeans from the last vlog of the clothes i took in for amendment i haven't picked them up so i have to do that but you got <laughs> Let me eat. Like it's so long and so annoying. I just finished eating. Guys, I wanted to show you guys my plate. I cleared that. This is the drink cleared that. My plate cleared that. I'm on a first time call with a normal on my iPad. Anyways, uh where were we? This thing here stuff I ordered that just came in. So what did you order? What did you order? Um a bunch of simple products. It's simple, like, yeah. does it really move? Like, simple, the brand. Yeah, like, people, it right? really moves. Ah. Mostly because it's also very cost, cost like, cost it's not, Yes, it's mm -hmm. not it's expensive. Affordable. Yes, 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 yes. It's affordable, so, you know. Guys, I legit just got to the spa. I forgot to do a quick chit chit chat thing. Like, I ran from the office to the car to get here to get this done. I don't have an appointment still. But to get this walk in before like i didn't want to come here by six and they're like oh we're no longer taking appointments or walk-ins and all of that so we're here this is where i always get my wax done i think they're called Chita iu i'm going to have them linked in the description box so let me just get ready and take uh, take my back off uh, 
guys look how happy i am i just found matcha powder and this is expiring in 2024 i think i'm going to grab this i'm just so happy the same thing initially when i walked in i actually thought that, that was matcha but that is maca and this is matcha so i'm going to take this one let's take this one Sorry, how much? It's seven eight hundred. Good morning, guys. It's not even morning, guys. It's past twelve. Okay, I got up from bed so late this morning, and it was because my eyes were just hurting. Like I had a headache when I woke up, so I just like laid in bed for a while. I called some family members, or some family members called me. At least that was time well kind of spent, but. I'm legit rushing. I got my hair relaxed this past weekend, like on Sunday. And guys, I only relax my hair once a year right now. The last time I relaxed my hair was December of 2022. Please, guys, I don't want any preaching when it comes to this. But guys, I have done so many things to my hair over the years. I've been natural. I've been tech sacks. I've been relaxed. I have even had a pixie cut at a point. I'm going to be wearing this perfume. Guys, this is my Dior. This is Dior River. I got this on my trip okay this is a very gorgeous like fresh type of perfume it's not really fresh uh, it's very floral but anyways i'll probably review this in detail okay for you guys and i'm still holding on to this because i really want to bring it out of here when i review but i woke up this morning and i was like yeah i was planning to actually relax my hair after relaxing give it about three days deep condition and then get some micro links installed i will be doing micro links next week we're going to see how that goes because i've never done that before i'm thinking that I need to swap out these earrings for something that has like hoops. I think I'm gonna wear these instead. Anyways, where was I with what I was saying? I have decided like, well, obviously not decided actually. The way this week went for me, I really couldn't keep to that plan, that schedule. So what I want to do is to get something else done to my hair. Just like, just so that my ends are kind of protected. I want to go and get a ponytail installed. I legit came to this decision once I got out of the bed. So, I called them and they told me to start coming now because they don't have any they don't have appointment or slots like later in the day so I'm rushing up to get this pony installed it's kind of going back and forth this glasses or oh, this one oh this one looks very funky but no I'll wear this one and then by the time I get my hair done I might switch to the other one so guys let's go get this hair done okay and then after that I can come back and talk to you people like a normal person okay guys we are back and this hair is given so i'm just gonna wear my hair like this for like three or four days and i'll take it down and then i'll do the other thing that i want to do i actually stopped at shop right i didn't vlog that i got like wine glasses and i got chopped tomatoes so i got chopped tomatoes for my pasta i'm thinking of making two different types of pasta we will see <laughs> two different types of pasta so we'll see so i'm just gonna carry my computer downstairs and i think i'm gonna work while i cook that kind of vibe it's also late it's like 5 57 it's almost 6 p.m now i don't know why i'm talking in a very distracted manner it's just because i have a revolving to-do list on my head yet yeah, not on not on okay inside inside my head but i'll see you guys downstairs like guys i have a mix of seafood here way more seafood than i typically would use so i have some raw shrimp the ones that i got from the seafood market the other day and then i have some parboiled ones that i had left over from the last time that i cooked so i've mixed that all in here with some calamari and i'm going to be using it this time around to cook like this doesn't take too long to come together at all you guys have seen me make this before and i try to include the recipe in the description box but because i've made it before i don't know if i should actually go through the process again we'll see but basically let me just go over ingredients i have some sun-dried tomatoes here i don't know if i've done this in the past there's some sugar here funny enough the sugar goes into this recipe just a quarter of a teaspoon some onions okay i have red pepper i don't think i'm going to be using all of this this is atarodo or osensuka maggi i'm going to use two cubes at a point 
I have some passata water. This is just basically tomato puree. Not in tomato sharp, but tomato puree. I have um, basil here or curry leaf, like it's called in the market here. And then I have some like chopped up garlic. Black pepper, of course. A must. Salt. I think I'm going to make the other pasta maybe tomorrow, okay? So I have some chopped tomatoes here. In a can. Red wine vinegar, of course. And then olive oil. Guys, I mostly cook with olive oil. I've told you guys this before. So this recipe, olive oil. until the <clears throat> what's it called the shrimp kind of changes color I so I have cooked this thing before in my vlog okay so I'm just gonna let it cook for about three minutes this pasta is technically done and absorb all of that sauce before I now come and pour the pasta in you know so I'll let it simmer um, three minutes so that's <clears throat> okay so the seafood has all changed color now. It's like a very nice pink whitish. Even the calamari is more vibrant. I just need to taste this and adjust for salt before I pour the pasta in. <clears throat> the reason why I'm actually coughing is is the vinegar. So there's the red wine vinegar that goes into this recipe that when, when it touches heat, it just smokes up a little bit. And since my thing crashed, I don't have an extractor fan. There used to be an extractor fan somewhere here, it's gone. So I'm in the process of trying to replace it by a new one. Let me put more salt, just a little bit. Just a tiny little bit. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm just now. Salt wipe. This is my pasta. So this is a close-up of the pasta. Guys, this pasta or this recipe is tried and tested for me. It looks good. It tastes absolutely amazing. And I put way more seafood than normal because my partner also likes this pasta and he just likes it with a lot of seafood. So it's around and yeah, guys, it looks good. I love it. So let me turn the heat off. Okay, and yeah. Good morning. It's not even really morning like that, but anyways. Okay, guys, this thing, because I remember vlogging, like, the, getting this, right? I caught the cameras at the point just before I paid, because I remember, like, when they said that price, I was like, can you repeat it, please? She said 27. I said, repeat it again. So me and the sales rep, saleswoman okay we entered into this staring competition like she looked at me bent her head looked at me bent my head i was like you're sure this is twenty seven thousand? she was like yes yeah, twenty seven thousand. so it was like an egonyo karobi situation you're not going to defeat me so i bought it but let me tell you guys never again in my life the reason why this even made it all the way to the tail is because there were no prices on the shelves and i hate that thing so much because a lot of lagos establishments 
in quote stores they do this thing where the prices for the items you pick up you actually don't see it on the tail you don't know what it is until you're like okay i want to take this and they tell you something and i hate having to walk back or drop something and if it is a tagging materials that is a problem right they should do something similar to what ebano has done where they have like scanners on the wall so if something is not tagged you just scan it it tells you how much it is the fact that they were selling i had to even, i was like 85 grams 27 she said yes but i had been looking for matcha for a while that place i would go there like when i don't find things at ebano like they sell organic things i remember like there was a time i was looking for tapioca flour everywhere i couldn't find it i went there and they had it we're gonna try this as of today pounds is like 1000 something so let me try this because if i actually got this for like 27 pounds probably roughly be, be around the same price but i doubt that this should be around that price i'm just trying to calculate my thoughts as i speak i'm going to try and make a matcha latte okay there's a recipe there's one for like just a regular matcha latte and another one for an ice latte i want to see to, if it will give me energy because i have a lot of work to do between now and i also want to end this evening by working out so walks are my favorite so i'm going out for a walk later this evening i'm actually doing that with my partner so let me see if this because i told you guys i don't really do coffee i don't i just don't and regular teas hmm, this they have a nice recipe at the back i'll try that if it doesn't work or if i end up liking it and it's not too bad because someone actually recommended that i try matcha then uh what would i do if it's not too bad like the recipe is not too bad i'll just keep taking it if not that's that's if i actually like it if not i'll go on youtube and see if i can find recipes but guys yeah i just ate by the way i had a very good breakfast what did i eat i ate my wrap again the wrap that i showed you guys earlier it's just very filling i like it so let's go downstairs okay let's actually try to make this and see how that works <laughs> like i told you guys i'm going to try to make this recipe that is just right at the back of the matcha here so this recipe calls for one and a half cups of plant-based milk the only good plant-based milk that i have at the moment is this one that i showed you guys before and this is elmhurst to be honest, this does not really have a great taste, okay? The taste is not that amazing. So we're just gonna try this. I wanna see what it actually tastes with, like with plant-based milk, okay? I'm gonna do one cup instead of one and a half cups. Did I even shake this? God, I feel like I didn't shake this and I was supposed to shake it. Okay. This recipe for an ice latte is says to use a shaker bottle, which I'll be using. Next thing here is half tablespoon of maple syrup so i have maple syrup here this is my regular regular brand of maple syrup just going to if this actually works then i think i'm going to put more than half tablespoon because it actually says to taste because this almond milk that i have does not it's like it's not the best tasting type of almond milk i feel like i have to put more like i have to put one tablespoon of maple syrup so the matcha powder of course says one teaspoon right it says one teaspoon of that so we're gonna do one teaspoon the reason i'm also just trying this particular recipe is because a lot of the videos I saw on YouTube, they were using that whole Japanese like broom thing for frothing or a frother. This one just looked very easy. I was like, okay, let me try this first. And then it also says quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract. This one here. Okay. I'm going to put that in here. Okay. I have a milk frother here, so I'm just going to warm press this for like a few minutes. So it's going to give me like cold frothing milk. The last thing here, it says to put some ice cubes in and then shake it in a shaker, okay? I'm going to use three ice cubes. Okay, three. So I'm going to cover this and then I'm going to shake, 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 shake. I don't know when to stop. I think I just... <laughs> I don't know when I'm supposed to stop, but I guess soon. I'm going to put more ice in here. <sighs> this is like a proper angle towel. I'm going to be using the cup that I got, my AliExpress cup. 
I think it should be done by now. So let me just open this and see. Hmm. It actually doesn't smell bad. So wait, let me. I feel like I have to do some more, okay? So 1, 2, 3, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, that should be fine. Please and please, okay? So. Okay. That is it. Okay, I'm gonna put some ice cubes at this point, okay? So I'll put maybe two. Okay, that's fine. And then this is the milk that I was frothing. And yes, I'm gonna pour. Oh, looks good. I'm gonna cover this up and then put my straw in. And then we're gonna do a taste test. We're back upstairs. <laughs> Every time I climb the stairs, I'm breathing like this, but let's taste this. Let's see. Actually, it doesn't taste bad. It has a very earthy, like a very earthy flavor. It also tastes like tea, low-key, but a very mild tea. For me, like the tea taste is very mild. And I don't think it's bad. I really don't think it's bad. However, the almond milk that I use has a very strong almond flavor. And it's clashing. Not clashing, Sha, but I can taste it. So now I'm wondering what this would actually taste like with a milk that kind of tastes like regular milk, you know? Or an almond milk that doesn't have this type of strong almond taste. I'm honestly curious, but it's not bad. I'm going to figure out better ways to prepare this. I also, I'm also going to see if it just helps me. By tomorrow, I'll let you guys know just overall, energy-wise, and... But it's also not bad because the vanilla extract and the maple syrup, they kind of did what they were supposed to do. So even with the nutty, like, almond taste I'm getting with the milk, it's not unbearable, you know? It's, like, not too bad. I hope you guys could hear me through all of that. I just turned the AC on, off. I forgot that it was on. Again, about these nails, like, I've been so obsessed with my nails that I've been doing a lot of Googling. And in recent times, there are like two nail things that have kind of been the rave, aside acrylic, and it's SNS, which is what I did. SNS is the same as dipping powder. And then there's Biab. I think it's called Builda in a Bottle, which is very popular in Europe, but I think SNS or Dipping Powder is more popular in the US. Just also going by the TikTok videos and YouTube videos that I have watched. So I really want to see how my nails perform with this, like after I take the SNS or Dipping Powder off. I've seen some people arguing that SNS is just the same as acrylic powder. However, it's just like, it, it, you know like the 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 technique is different but the powder is essentially acrylic powder and some people have complained that even when they take it off that their nails feel still feel the way they didn't like in the first place but some people have also said that like sns powder or dipping powder changed everything that their nails feel and look better than they did when they were wearing acrylics so at this point i'm just waiting to see how it performs on my own nails if i don't like it because when I also went to Nail Boutique, I had a conversation with them and they were like, oh, maybe just try SNS or try dipping powder. Next time you should try Biab. So I think I'm still going to try Biab. The only thing or the reason, I don't know if I've already said this, but the reason I did not try Biab that day because I was almost about to do it was because it involved curing. You had to cure your nails and I didn't leave the house with my sunscreen that day so I was not prepared to put my hands under a lamp. So I was like, okay, let's just do SNS. But people have been raving about biab on tiktok i've also seen nail text just basically saying that your nails can be healthy with sns and biab it just depends on your nail tech and how they actually take the product off that contributes a lot to just the overall health of your nails so we will see but then one of the main like cons of sns powder or dipping powder as a lot of people complain about is the actual dipping into the powder because you kind of dip your hands inside the same powder or into the same powder that a lot of people dip their hands into so i don't know if like the sealant or what they use in between powder coats actually does anything to kill bacteria i don't know how that works but one thing chilema did was to go on amazon and buy a dipping powder kit it was like 20 dollars so i bought it on the prime the day that they were amazon prime day i bought it it was way cheaper i actually ordered it to be delivered to me here straight i've told you guys that amazon ships to nigeria shipping tends to be expensive but i only use 
system when I order small items as opposed to like these you guys saw the glass items I ordered earlier on in the vlog for smaller items shipping is cheaper faster as well so I've ordered my own dipping powder with a bunch of different colors let's see um, if I actually like this then I actually do not have to use their own dipping powder anymore if I like it I'll just continue using my own dipping powder That's it. Delivery should take about two weeks because it has been shipped actually and they used RMX to ship off my order. So it should take about two weeks to get to me and by around that time, my nails should be due. So I'll kind of just know what I'm doing. Hmm? Okay. Let's go and work. Okay. Close my wings. I'm so happy. Okay, I've been walking for close to two hours now, but we're rounding it up. Okay, we're rounding it up. <laughs> Good morning. I okay. Let me clean my glasses. I think that something might be wrong with my batteries. I think that I just plugged them and I forget that I've plugged them, and then it might actually just be killing my batteries. I'm just noticing that they never charge beyond 70% now, which I think is very weird. Morning. I have two videos to film today. I know what the first video is going to be about. The second I have not even decided and I have not scripted and I just think that that is so chaotic. God, please help me. So the clothes that I sent off for amendment in the previous vlog, they are back and I'm going to try them on. Okay, I think I have about four items that I left at the tailor's place, right? So we're going to try them on to see they were able to fix things properly because I dropped one denim and one skirt. Let's see what they did. Okay, so first is this skirt. It was really big and it was crunching up on the sides. I think that they did what they needed to do. I think it looks nice now. It looks way better. So the skirt is fine, okay? The jeans for sure look better now. The only thing I'm just not happy with or about is that I told them not to cut off the excess fabric. Like when you tailor my jeans, especially before I try it on the first time, I don't want you cutting off the excess fabric in case I actually need you to reduce it again. Okay, I'm just seeing that they cut it off and that is not what I asked them to do. But the jeans or just, just look better than they did the first time. I told them not to touch the waist and they didn't. So yeah, the thing it was doing before, it's no longer doing it again. What do I actually not like? I don't not like anything. I just don't like the fact that fabric is missing. And I also think I need to pull this properly so that I center the flap. But overall, the jeans, they look nice. I really like them. The yeah, pair of dad jeans that I got from ASOS if i can find i will link okay so i have two dresses to try on now so i actually looked at the jeans the jeans i just took out and i realized that they actually did not take out the excess fabric it was just the waist that they cut off something from which is honestly fine i'm looking at this dress now and they did what i asked them to do it really looks good on this side however there's an issue here you can see that the way they kind of like there's excess fabric here that wasn't tucked in properly so i have to take this back for them to do what needs to be done this looks nice it's a very nice dress i was actually wondering oh can i wear this to something that i have on saturday but this whole situation man like yeah i just need to take it back hopefully i find time between now and saturday to actually do that but there's excess fabric here so you guys can see like this section why does it not look better now when you pull it down i don't even know or does this thing just just need ironing actually no it's not just about ironing it needs to be tucked in so this one overall shape wise it fits better now i got this december 2022 from asos i think that this dress will look really good with cream accessories yeah okay yeah this needs to go back right so this is the dress when i bought it you guys saw i remember kind of going back and forth with him to be honest like the, with the guy who fixed this or oh, you guys can see but there was a whole like bumping thing going on on the back here which he said he was going to fix but then again we we also talked about like touching it or holding it on the waist a little bit which i'm seeing that he didn't do because whenever i relax can you see this whole rumpling thing happens again and this was the main issue so he just needs to take maybe like half an inch from the two sides the top fits well it has always fit well it's a nice dress i got this from a nigerian ready to wear brand but the two dresses definitely are going back because something is just a bit off but the skirt and the pants fit really great 
Okay, I just finished filming. I did like a little no makeup makeup routine. I legit have to rush to my Taylor's place now. Let's go there. Yo, oh my gosh. My skin, bro, I love this makeup. Like this is my go-to. <sighs> Something was flying by the time this video goes up. I hope that I've uploaded this video on Instagram. But these products are, it's almost like I don't have anything on my skin. It feels so lightweight. Like the formula I get with them is like tinted moisturizer-ish. It's from a Nigerian brand called Geraldine's Bay. And uh, I love it. I've been wearing this for hours now and I love this makeup that. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. It looks so skin-like. It's crazy and I'm not wearing any eyeshadow or anything like... Yeah, this makeup um, tutorial is going to go up on my Instagram next week, I think. So just shortly after I upload this. First of all, the clothes that I went to go and try on or the dress I went to go and try on, I had sewn it in December. You know how December is coming along or around? And I gave my tailor some fabrics. And she sewed it with my measurements. So I haven't picked it up. Every other thing I think she sewed for me that period, I have tried and I have worn and I have done stuff with. This one I haven't worn. And she wanted me to come and try it because there was some beading. Guys, I got makeup on my shirt. Anyways, tell me why I got there. The clothes did not lock. <laughs> don't get me wrong like i'm actually happy with the way that i look now but it was so funny because when i stepped into it i was like who was this clothes made for me anyways i think i'm gonna make another type of pasta for dinner i'm going to use my hello fresh cookbook as usual and what else do i think i'm going to be doing it gosh i've not baked in a very long time i'm, I'm trying to see if i can find something to bake soon i don't know where else i told you guys i was gonna go to but let me just tell you guys like the tailor was the most important one that one and i think yeah i went to the hair salon and i finally finalized my appointment which was good so i'll go there tomorrow for my micro links i'll have a whole video dedicated to that micro links going up next week as well so let me just change out wash off my face by the way talking about washing off face let me talk to you guys about something hold on so just going by what i know now this vlog might actually be more than one hour but i really don't mind like if it's more than one hour hopefully you guys watch it still people post one hour 30 minute vlogs on this youtube uh, jesus why did i put this ring on my finger this is oof. okay so talking about cleansing my face guys i've been going on and on about clinics take the day of cleansing balm on this channel like ever since i can remember even before i started youtube i had already started using this product right and it's the regular one ha huh, gosh do i have the regular one hold on guys like i keep remembering stuff randomly so i had to go to the office real quick to see if i had like an extra one so this is clinic take the day of cleansing balm this is the one i'll normally talk to you guys about i've been using this particular formula for years it's a white wax you know you use it you apply it on your face you just dissolve your makeup off right so when i traveled to the uk a few months ago i saw that they had another version of it so this one hasn't been phased out or discontinued or anything but they had another one on display alongside this one that was black and i was like okay so i started asking the so this is a charcoal cleansing balm and this one is just cleansing balm and i started asking the rep i was like what's the difference like why is there a black one now and she was like oh this one is much better or or targeted at people with combination to oily skin oh my gosh why is it shrinking i don't know why it looks like this but the black one looks like this you guys can see that i've used it this it's definitely for people my skin type, okay? And this, they introduced it after that had been existing for a very long time. Guys, this is actually what you need. If you're interested in trying the Clinique Cleansing Balms and you have oily combination skin, definitely go for the charcoal one. So if you use this, the feel like you have a like slightly hydrated, moisturized, cleansed-ish feeling, like your skin is clean, but then it's not crisp clean. This, you get a crisp clean feel. Like you can actually feel like this has gotten rid of oils, you know, this is very good, but then it's not drying. So I'm just here because I put you guys on that one and I've gotten this one now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this one. I regret because when I went, I went there to actually buy this, right? Just buy two to come back with because the last time I bought this here in Nigeria in Essenza, I paid like 20 something thousand. I'm sure that it is even no longer that price now. Okay. And I went there to buy this one, saw this one, decided to buy one of this and one of this just to go and try both of them and see. Now I regret actually buying this. I wish I had bought two of these, right? Just this is FYI for my clinic cleansing balm girlies. Like if you like this product and you're interested or you're, you've not, if you don't even have like a cleansing balm for removing makeup and you're looking to try something, if you have normal to dry skin, get the white cleansing balm. If you have combination to oily skin, please get the charcoal cleansing balm. These products are amazing. This one, however, great 
for oily skin girlies okay so let me just wash my makeup off and then i'll go downstairs and cook that pasta and i have some admin to do i also feel like i need to work out it's tuesday so what my target is now is like three to four times a week i actually honestly want to do five days a week but sometimes that's just not feasible so to just tone things down to reduce disappointment <laughs> I now do three to four times so i'm trying to see let me finish cooking and see if i can actually work out i'll do like maybe a light like 30 minute session right i just want to make sure that i close my rings okay so my pot is on the fire i'm going to put some olive oil this is the one that i use this is brillo and i'm just going to put one and a half um, tablespoons of olive oil into my pan just to reduce this Okay. Yeah, this thing is too hot. It's not supposed to be this hot. I'm going to take it off. Like I let the pot cook for longer than usual. So this particular recipe actually calls for like ham, like the type of ham. But I'll not be using that. So I kind of just kind of made up and added more prawns, right? Right. I'm going to use some green chili pepper. So I have some already cooked prawns and some fresh prawns inside here, okay? So, salt. And then I'm going to put some black pepper. So, I'll know that this is cooked when all the prawns actually turn pink. Because some of you, they were not pink initially, but they are turning pink now, as you guys can see. I'm going to add more black pepper. I think I need to move this camera closer to the pot because black pepper is in line. Uh, okay, I'm going to increase the heat a little bit. So let me move this. But guys, I don't know how to... I, I don't know, like I think we're going to manage it like this. I'll figure out how to set up later, right? But I'm hoping that you guys can still see the pot a little bit. I'll show you guys close up once I'm done. So I have some chopped garlic. Ugh. I actually chopped my garlic instead of mincing. Anyway, it's fine. I do my garlic now. So this is my pasta water. And you guys are wondering why it's this color and it is because I bought my pasta in vegetable sauce and not just salt and water So I'm going to add some of that, um, not vegetable sauce, vegetable stock This is what vegetable stock looks like, right? I boiled my pasta in one of this You mix it with water and it just gives you nice vegetable stock And I'm going to pour four tablespoons of this into the sauce Right, so that's the vegetable stock, um, pasta water, pasta water, vegetable stock, whatever I decide to call it, okay? So I'm going to be using this. This is cream fresh, I think it's called. It looks like this. I'm going to add three tablespoons of this. So I have some spring onions here. I'm going to put some of that in here. Okay. I'm going to cover and let this simmer for a while. Just a short one, maybe about five minutes. Yeah, I just need this to kind of get a little bit thick. This recipe calls for lemon, but I'll not be using that because I really do not like lemon in my pasta. So... So I'm just going to taste it for salt. 
going to add some salt because we need salt. Okay, I'm going to add plenty grinds of black pepper because honestly, like I said, black pepper is live. Small pasta with them again. <coughs> I'll put the remaining spring onions. It's amazing actually this is what it looks like up close i love this because the base is so simple and so light it's a creamy type of pasta but cream fresh is not a heavy type of cream i just really like it this plus the simple ingredients plus the um, spring onions it tastes really really good i'm not even going to lie so i'm going to portion this like into three different plates right and like have one portion okay so i have one portion and i'll put the other two in the fridge good morning i was supposed to actually vlog again today like i had a long list of things to vlog today before ending this vlog well guys i'm gonna end this vlog here and let me explain why normally when i start vlogging i kind of try to see or start looking at clips about halfway through to see just how much i have vlogged and before yesterday i had about 48 minutes on the timeline i was like okay i'm just gonna vlog a few things and i did tell me why <laughs> tell me why I'm looking at the pending clips again from yesterday and I have like 51 minutes that I have to cut down so guys yeah I'm not gonna add clips from today again like guys please okay I think everything I wanted to show you guys today I'll just show you guys in the next vlog next sunday i think that that's fair enough i have found a better way to enjoy my matcha tea since the first time you guys saw me taking it and i wanted to really show you guys that but i'll start the next vlog with that promise and what else again did i want to do i wanted to also kind of talk about the micro links all of that so before next sunday i should have uploaded a video for that micro links hopefully so i want to actually just document the whole thing in detail and show you guys but um, i'm probably going to start that next vlog with me um wearing the micro links installed that i did but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i actually really enjoyed it because i feel like i actually vlogged a lot of things in detail like i know that people are posting like one hour 30 minute vlogs and all of that but i think that with you guys if i'm going to increase it has to just be gradually in increased i cannot just go from 50 minutes to one hour 30 no okay but yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this video and also thank you so much for the love in my last vlog guys i really really appreciate that i love you guys and i'll see you in my next one Mwah. kisses